Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've got a bunch of these 18 volt DeWalt batteries now that are about five years old and they simply don't hold a charge anymore. I maybe get a couple minutes runtime. So I looked online and in stores and found that if you're going to go buy these things, they're 50 to 80 bucks depending on where you go. And I'm like, that's a lot of money for a stinking battery. So I thought, well, let me crack one open and maybe rebuild it myself. So what you're going to find inside here are 15 sub C sized cells. I went online and found uh, a pack of these. They come in, they're sold in 15 chunks because people know what you're going to do with these. Uh, so I went on eBay and for like 23 or 25 bucks, I got the cells. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try my hand at rebuilding one of these and hopefully save myself a little bit of money and uh, learn something in the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these six screws here in the top of the battery. They have Torx heads on them. I'll have to uh, push these contacts down through the top here so that I can remove this top cell, which is extending here into the stem of the battery. You can see the battery is covered in this non-conductive paperboard type stuff. Now these batteries are wired up in a specific way so that everything comes back around and meets up where it should. I figured out the circuit diagram here, and I'll put that up on screen. Go ahead and pause or take a screenshot right now so you can have this for reference. Now the batteries that I got came with these little solder tabs already attached. Well, you don't really need two of them, and they're almost never pointing the right way. So what I found is just easiest to gently pry them loose here with a set of pliers, and then we're going to reattach them here after we re-flatten them back out. Then I'm using some hot glue here to temporarily hold them together. Once I've flattened my solder tabs back out, I'm going to put a little bit of flux on all the connections, and then I'm going to drop a little bit of solder on the end of each one. Now this soldering iron I'm using here is a 60 watt. I tried it with my uh, 30 watt and that simply didn't have enough heat. So I'm using this chisel tip here on the 60 watt and it works great. So this is a two handed operation. With one hand you'll use a pair of pliers or something to hold the solder tab down and with the other hand of course you'll press down on your little solder bead and smoosh it between the solder tab and the top of the battery. Now make sure you don't spend more than a few seconds here because the heat can ruin the battery. And then once you're done with the top, you flip it over here out of the case so that you can solder up the bottom. Then once the bottom's done, you flip it over and put it back in the case so that you can solder up this number 15 cell here on top. But you gently pry off the set of terminals here from the old battery. Uh, I'm going to have to cut the sheath back a little bit here on this battery to solder this in place. So I'm going to do that. I also need to make a little slot here on the side to re-solder my thermocouple wire. It snakes down in between the two uh, sets of seven. This obviously measures the temperature and communicates to the charger uh, how your battery is doing. So I re-solder the white wire to the number one battery and I re-solder this little terminal set here to the top of the number 15 battery and my thermocouple wire goes to the side here of my number 15 battery. All right, that's starting to look like a battery. Cool. So then once you get it all put back together and charged up, pop it back on your drill, and you're good as new. You can see it's really not all that difficult. You can definitely do it yourself. Just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.